Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. YouTube is your Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. We have a new House Rules event out. Uh, the, the point of this event is really simple. 50-yard touchdowns instantly wins the game. So I think this is a perfect time for me to put out a bunch of one-play touchdowns from just about every single formation. So I'm going to use the Saints playbook, and I'm going to show you guys how to one-play any defense, no matter what defense it is, because I know that ultimately people are coming out in a lot of really weird defenses that they think prevent one-play touchdowns. So I'm going to go over quickly uh, a one-play touchdown for every single defense out of the Saints playbook so you guys can blow through these uh, through these. Um, you know these these house rule challenges uh like i said 50 yard touchdowns and it's the win 20 yard touchdowns 12 points um you know this is a game i've won games on the first play doing this if you want to see gameplay hit the like button let me know in the comment section and i'll do some gameplay uh because i have it recorded already I just have to edit it i'll do some gameplay for sunday other than that with the new promo just dropping do yourself a favor don't make the mistake of buying packs thinking you're going to get the player you want make sure you get the player you want Go to uh, my, my sponsor, MMOXP.com, buy your coins there, get whatever play you want, cut out all the BS, do yourself that favor. First line of the description is a link to go to that site as well as a discount code, so make sure you check that out. So I'm in the Saints playbook, that's the playbook that I use. If you guys want to check out the full ebook, that is in the description below as well. I'm going to start off with cover two. Uh, this is going to be, like I said, I'm going to work my way through every possible zone coverage because I've seen some weird ones in the games that I play. Like I said, I saw somebody running a lot of cover nines, which he thinks I couldn't one play and I could. So I'm going to show you one for every single one. So like I said, starting off, we're going to use the empty Y Saint. We're going to pick the, dra the Saints drag. That's going to be my first play for cover two. Going to move the ball back to 50. Sometimes where you are on the field can matter, like, you know, being to the left or the right. You're going to obviously increase your chances by throwing to the open side of the field that's the best thing i can tell you so all i'm gonna do motion this guy in here i forgot to put my fastest guy where gin is but luckily it's already that way then i'm just going to basically just streak everybody i'll have a check down with smith i'll leave the rb route alone and then uh the the you know gin's gonna be the route so that x route pulls in then gins a home run to the outside as I didn't get the catch, so I guess I'll have to do it again. But you can see, obviously, it's there. Obviously, too, if you're playing Mutt, you probably have a faster receiver. I don't think that Ted Ginn is necessarily the speed that I want, um, but that's the best thing that the Saints have, and I typically want to use their books. So, like I said, bullet and pass leading away. These safeties do a little bit better job since the patch are catching up, but you can see how you can easily one play a cover, two by using this play. So, like I said, I'm going to move through this pretty quick because I'm going through a lot of zones. So, that's the setup for the cover two i might show two setups for cover three you can always re-watch the play too by the way if you want to see the setups or the breakdowns or how to do it you can go back and rewatch the play because i'm going through this quick because i'm going over a lot of defensive coverages before i do though i should show that that play i just showed is also a cover play a cover two or uh, sorry a cover two man one play touchdown so let's go ahead and let's pick that again and i'll just pick the cover two man to get that out of the way cover one man is necessary is, is especially easy i mean that's you know cover one man cover zero those are really going to be easy but like i said against even against cover two man same thing kimura is going to pull back that coverage you can see how that y route just gets inside and you're going to have a really big play so there you go boom 50 yard touchdown against man cover two or cover one a really good play um, there's a couple of plays that can do the same effect but without a doubt to me, this is probably the best one. So, like I said, I, I mean, I might show multiple, uh, you know, home runs in, in other coverages. But against this cover, too, I'm just going to move on from here. So, like I said, you have to throw that ball on time, too. Like, right there, I almost threw it a little bit too late. If you throw it too late, your quarterback might not have the throw power. And you might have to come back to the ball. And it can mess everything up. You'll basically be throwing picks. So, like I said, very good play. Cover two, uh, man or zone. This is a home run. 
Now this play also works for an all-out man blitz. Just make sure you block your, your tight end. That's going to be the best thing that I, could, that I could say. And then you just kind of, you know, you're going to lob it up. I don't have to do any of the other streaks. I can leave everybody else as a check down. Just make sure you throw it at an adequate time because if you throw it too late, like I said, you're going to have to come back to the to the ball and you're going to be throwing picks. So this play right here, cover two man, man beater, uh, man blitz, and cover two zone, all home runs on this play. So like I said, I'm going to run, I'm going to show two cover three home runs. Uh, because I think that you know, it, obviously, if you if you try one of these plays and you mess it up the first time, you're gonna want to switch to a different formation so that they don't necessarily uh, see it coming. So the first play that I'm gonna show is out of the bunch to eat. Some of these you might have already seen if you watch my channel uh, religiously. You've probably seen all these. You know, what I mean, I have full breakdowns of pretty much all these videos. But we're putting them all together, and like I said, some of these I haven't shown at all. But for cover three, we're gonna move on to cover three. We're gonna show the verticals play. This is my favorite. Once again, make sure you have your fastest uh, receiver at the uh, the home run route, which I'll show in a minute. So make sure that Ted Ginn here is your fastest guy. I'm just going to streak him. That that slight change uh, really makes a huge difference. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'll go ahead and I'll restart the play just so you can see if you can't run it like this because you can see how he's uh, he's arching towards the middle, which is not what I want. I want him going the opposite direction. If I put him in a full out fade, which is you know which will slightly alter his route to the outside he'll actually get picked up by the cover three corner which is not what i want the cover three corner as i'm messing up the entire play here the cover three corner is going to be he's going to sag off a little bit based off of what thomas is running um uh, which is going to be a uh, a really good um you know that's what i want that's how i'm gonna get this play to be as explosive as possible so like i said this play right here it's really once i motion out this running back you can see how the coverage a lot of times shifts sometimes it doesn't it doesn't really matter if the safeties don't shift you'll just see the safety will just sit and and get to run by them so you'll know that's a cover three and that's the play so here we go like i said just waiting you know it's all about the pass lead away and uh, sometimes i bullet it sometimes i lob it sometimes the lob doesn't make the play work but you can see it's all about the pass lead i'll go to the replay instead of running it again so we can actually take a look at what the animations look like but like i said sometimes when there's a safety when i'm running it and like i said if you want to see gameplay of these plays in effect make sure you hit the like button because i've been running all these plays i'm showing you in the exact same game mode that i'm talking about in the house rules game mode so sometimes the safety won't move like if it's a match sometimes the safety will be there and as the play starts, the safety will just sag. He won't He won't go back. So it'll be the exact same look. You'll know because the safety will just sit here and he won't actually follow the receiver. So, you know, that's something to keep an eye on. So it, just because if this if the formation doesn't shift with the motion and there's still a safety on both sides, it doesn't mean it's not a cover three. You just have to watch the safety. And a lot of times this receiver will just run right past it. And then, like I said, if I bullet and pass lead away from this safety, I'm just running the space and there's nothing there. So like I said, you can see here too how this receiver, whatever it is about this route, certain routes get the cover three corners attention and pull it down. This is one of those routes. So that's why this play works. So like I said, if you decide for, for whatever reason, you accidentally fade instead of streak he will draw this cornerback's attention at that point so don't do that but like i said this is one of my favorite cover three one play touchdowns so like i said that's a pretty noticeable uh formation so if you mess that up and say the, the touchdown doesn't come you could always switch over to the mesh play uh out of the uh the gun bunch so this play all i really want to do is motion kimura out again it shifts the coverage it's not always going to do that same principles apply if the coverage doesn't shift if you just watch that safety it'll still work streak smith uh, which once again i want to have my fastest receiver there didn't quite get that in correctly uh, but i'm just bullet and pass leading away you can see really easy cover three one play touchdowns so we've covered cover three cover two cover two man let's go and let's move on to some cover one plays so now we're going to continue in um in in the bunch uh for cover one uh, we're just going to go with verticals this is a pretty easy setup this is a pretty good play against cover one or cover two so i might show the cover two uh setup as well but i actually ran into a guy running cover one hole i couldn't believe it in one of my games so this is the it right here all you're going to do is motion out thomas i probably should have my fastest guy there i typically want to like work a check down into the play like in uh sometimes i'll even streak kamara because sometimes your, your user won't pay attention to um to that running back they might be man to the running back and not actually do it so i have two options here if i have a really fast tight end I, I usually can get that up the side of the field but that's not always going to be the way because not i mean cook's not that fast so he's not necessarily going to get going but if you have a really fast tight end you can hit him for a home run just as well as you can hit for thomas but thomas is going to be a much safer play thomas is also going to be the play like i said i don't know if i if i gave myself a fast enough receiver because thomas is not really that guy i might have to switch out again real quick 
So I went ahead and I switched out Gin. Cover one's one of the easier plays to one play. I, like I said, I couldn't really believe it when I saw the guy running cover one. Um, I mean, just a simple bent switch. But like I said, I mean, that A route, it can be huge. If you get the coverage matchup that you want, the A route can be really big. There, I got the touchdown. That's typically where I go because I think that's typically the best play. Uh, but like I said, Ted Ginn as well. The, the B route being on a streak, it doesn't create a check down. I mean, you can always, you know, create some other check down with the running back. Um, but ultimately, the B route really will pull that safety to one side, which is important. So, like I said, that X route, if you have a speed guy, you can see ultimately the tight end's better. But if you have a speed guy that can create the advantage that you want on the corner, the outside route will be the way to go. So, for cover four, one of the easiest ones is out of the gun, Y off, tree a week, the PA post dig shot. We'll pick that. I don't know if I picked the defense with a true cover four in it, though, uh, which is my mistake. But I think you can find one in the dollar, so we're just going to do that. Meant to pick one out of a 3-4 because that's the one people typically run. So this play right here, um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to drag the B route for a check down block the running back. Put Thomas on a smart route. And that, I mean, once again, i got to have the right receiver over there, which I do not. Um, I don't have. I really want to have Ginn running this. But you can see how it still works. There's really nothing um, stopping you from getting passed. But an ultra, a, a much faster receiver on that end will do the trick. Um, you know, really is, is what I want. I want to have Gin on that route. But uh, like I said, if you just smart route him at about 10 yards depth, it's really going to be all about the pass at that point. Going into the replay, it's all about uh, timing and uh, pass lead to the throw. I typically like to motion out this way because it shortens the throw, makes it a little bit easier. But you really just want to throw it once he gets inside of that safety. So right here, you can see I'm already winding up. Once he starts getting inside of that safety, I'm going to start bullet passing and pass leading away because he's basically running the space now. That safety can turn around and run with him, but I have nothing but space. I mean, you can see there's nothing but space here. If I get that throw out even better, it'll be an even easier play. I didn't get it out as far as I wanted, but they're all trailing at that point anyway, which is all that matters. So a little bit of a contested catch. Like I said, if you have a speed guy, it's really going to make a big difference. But like I said, once he gets inside of this safety right here, if I go back, I'm probably already throwing the ball. As you can see, I'm already in my windup. That's that's what you're looking for. And then bullet and pass leading away hard as possible to get him the space. So I went over cover uh, cover one, zero, two, three, four, man coverages. I went over just about everything except for some of the oddity coverages that you're going to see. Like I said, people were really trying to get smart. The PA shot seems is a play that I found when I was playing with a guy online. He was running cover nine, which is kind of a weird one. Um, there's cover nine show two. That should do the trick. Cover six invert it should do the trick. Uh, basically, all you're doing, um, oops, my bad. Basically, all you're doing is you're, um, you're, you're separating the field. You're splitting the field in half. And uh, when it comes to a, a defense like this, so I'll just go ahead and I'll pick a cover nine or a cover six, which is basically the same thing. This will work against cover four palms as well. I'll show that. This, this is pretty much going to be the last play that a home run just about anything. We'll start off with cover four palms. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I, I typically just want to motion this guy out, block my running back, and the Y route's going to be a really explosive play against um, against any one of these type of coverages because basically what this play has is I'm going to call it a score even though it's short. Once again, wrong receiver. I keep messing that part up. Uh, but uh, if you have your speed receiver here, once again, but this play, the way that this works is it really uh, home runs um, all these these match concepts, which is what the cover six and the cover nine have as well. There we get the touchdown. I actually bullet past that. I'll go back and I'll change out my receiver. But you can see how it works against cover four. When it comes to these other plays, you basically have the exact same thing. It's just one side of the field is cover, cover four match and the other side is covered too so like i said make sure you just put your fastest guy i keep making that mistake so it, it makes this play look a little less explosive than it really is if you have a speed guy but like i said we'll continue with this we're gonna pick um a cover where are we at here cover uh, the cover nine show two so like i said this play right here typically you want to flip you want to go toward you want to go at the cover four side with this play or you can just use the cover two play that i already showed and go at the cover two side so when it comes to deciphering which side is cover two and which side is cover four because obviously your opponent doesn't have to run a base they can flip it you just look at the cornerback depth the cornerback on the right is playing about four yards off the cornerback on the left is playing about six yards off so you know that that's where the cover four side is the cover two side will always be closer to the line so that's what i'm going to do 
All I'm going to do is motion that guy out once again, wait for him to turn up the field, and just get a good throw. You can see here we're, we're passed by a couple yards. Like I said, I actually made, I didn't make the mistake of having my slowest receiver there. And you can see how you can home run that side the same way. So, you know, like I said, it's the same concept. It's a cover four match or it's a cover nine. Half the field is a cover four, and it'll still react the same way as it would if it was a cover four palms. The cover two side is a decent check down. If you run it like this, uh, a lot of times the B route um, can make a, can make a play. So you have a decent check down. I mean, you have an option where the B route can, a lot of times the, the cornerback will sag off and you'll have a really big play to the other side as well. You can see I almost got 50 yards on that. If I wasn't so close to the sideline, I probably would have scored. So if you're going against a cover nine or a cover six, which essentially is the same play, just flipped, you have a home run play pretty much on both sides. So like I said, I can go to the home, I can home run the side to the cover four, or I can almost home run the side to the, to the B route. I just have to be a little bit closer to the center of the field. So here I'll run it like this. Like I said, this play here, really good play. I can home run both sides. I just have to wait for the A route to stretch back the cornerback or stretch back the safety. And then boom, we're heading a home run to the, to the cover two side. So this is a perfect play if you're looking at somebody who's running a cover nine. Uh, cover nine, cover four, cover six, this is gonna be a home run. So I'm just gonna pick that play one more time just to show you guys that it works the same against cover six because uh, just in case people don't understand that it is the same. So like I said, one more time, cover six just to end this. You know, left side is cover four. You can tell by the cornerback depth. The other side is cover two. You can tell uh, by the uh, by the cornerback depth as well. I don't know. I might run out of bounds here, but you can see. I mean, I'm right where I need to be. 50 yards. Uh, if I have a speed advantage, even better. And then, obviously, once again, I mean, Thomas, not the fastest guy, but the B route can do the same thing. Like I said, in a gameplay, I, I home run with the B route. In, the, in one of my gameplays, which is kind of where I came up with this. You know what I mean? This is stuff. Oh, I break the tackle. Like I said, speed will matter. You need more speed all across the field to make these plays even more consistent and even more explosive. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see gameplay of me using these plays in action or more Saints plays, more Saints home runs, whatever, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.